recognize for two minutes. Thank you very much. First, I want to thank Representative Connolly, uh, Connolly for yielding me time and really for your tremendous leadership on this very vital issue. Also, I must salute um, our leader Pelosi for her unwavering support and hard work for global peace and security. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of H.R. 3461, a resolution to approve the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Now, in the last two Congresses, mind you, I introduced the Prevent Iran from Acquiring Nuclear Weapons and War and Stop War Through Diplomacy Act, which called for the appointment of a high-level special envoy to address Iran's nuclear and an end to the no-contact policy between our diplomats. And since the 1970s, quite frankly, I have worked on many nuclear non-proliferation issues and believe very strongly that the deal that President Obama and our P5 plus 1 partners negotiated demonstrates how effective diplomacy can be. It will lead us closer to a world where our children and future generations can live without the fear of Iran acquiring a nuclear weapon. The JCPOA, support, supported by the majority of Americans and key international allies, including France, Germany, and Britain, though not perfect, it's the best way to prevent Iran from ever acquiring a nuclear weapon. The Iran nuclear deal puts into place the most intrusive inspection system, including a 24-7 surveillance of Iran's enrichment facilities and reactors. It cuts off all of Iran's pathways to a nuclear weapon, and it will enhance regional and global security. Security. United Nations Ambassador Samantha Power stated in her recent political op-ed, if we walk away, there is no diplomatic door number two, no do-over, no rewrite of the deal on the table. Rejecting the Iran deal will isolate the United States from our international partners and will not make us any safer, and it certainly won't result in a better deal with Iran. Instead, it would allow Iran to accelerate their weapons programs with no oversight, and that is unacceptable. We cannot afford the alternative to this deal. This is a defining moment for our country, for our world. Let us continue to work for peace. We all know that the military option is always there. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this resolution of approval.